Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, we are all artists. Although some of us are better than others. Plus, the cat people are taking over again. <laughs> Four point two is almost here, and our iPads mobile. Some people say, nee, not really. All that plus an engrave or two or three on iPad today. Yay! Yay! iPad today is brought to you by. Audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. And by Hover.com. Hover is domain name registration and management that's simple. For 10% off your new domain, go to iPadToday.hover.com. And by Slingbox. Watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home with Slingbox. Check out Slingbox at a Best Buy near you or visit Slingbox.com slash twit. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Sarah Lane. Hey, we're starting to get good at this. Like this, maybe we could have a future in this business. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. It's only show 18 after all. Wow. 18 shows. We're now uh, legal. Yeah. If, if we were only 18 last week, we would have voted on Tuesday. Oh, uh, did you vote? Yes. I yes. did too. And wasn't ya it cool? Vote. The f- ya vote. Is that what yours said? Yeah. It said, I voted ya vote. And it said in Chinese too, because you're in San Francisco. That's so right. All three it's languages. the three. Yeah. Yes. We're a tri-official county. Right. Here in the Sonoma County, just said I voted with an American flag. It should uh, okay. Well, yeah. good enough. There you go. It all means the same thing. <laughs> it's all the same thing. Of course, I voted. Did yes. you? And did you check in on Foursquare and get the I voted badge? Yeah, but I didn't get the badge. Oh. I checked in. I checked in like three times. In fact, people were like, "Got it." Yeah. Uh, no badge. But, uh, no, I didn't get a badge, and it's weird because Painful. Painful. I mean, it was a it was a registered voting polling place, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. I, I know what that. I did. I, I don't need a badge. I absentee voted. Didn't even go to the polling place, but it was near enough that when I checked in, it said, oh, you're here? And I said, yeah, and I got a badge. Well, that seems fair. Yeah. I mean, voting I voted. is voting. I voted. So um, let us talk today about, uh, now, is this your idea or did somebody vote for this? You know, since day one, Leo, people have been saying, well, why don't we do art apps? Why don't we talk about painting apps? There's I've a made lot this, of it. I've made this cool art. They've sent yep. us emails. Yep. They've yep. written in. A uh, huge campaigns, not really, but you know, the, the idea is that people love using their iPads uh, for a variety of artwork. There are a lot of apps out there, just like there are a lot of photography apps, and in fact, there's a lot of crossover between the two. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Ready? Okay, it's passed. One. Oh, shoot. I hate it when that happens. This might happen throughout the show. <laughs> Battling a cold a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so we've gotten, we've gotten so, so much uh, feedback and ideas about art apps that it just seemed, it seemed like it was time. And in fact, um, we're going to kick it off with uh, one of our viewers, David Kite, who said, yeah, I really want to show an art app. So I saw the email and it's like, yeah, we got to do that. We got to do that. Uh, but then he sent me a link to... Um, a, uh, a Flickr set of his that showcases some of his art using the iPad and a variety of apps. There you so go. So these he's done on the iPad? Yeah. So that wow, one. Wow, so that's you, really cool. I know. So if you click on a specific photo and then you go down to the description, he'll tell you what app he used. So he uses picture. a variety of apps. He uses a variety of apps. But and look I mean, at this. I mean, it's really You good. wouldn't think you could do this with your finger. No. Or an alu pen, even. Yeah. I mean, these really look like they're done in real media. And I guess that's one of the things that's kind of cool about the iPad and, and iPad painting programs is this one looks like it's done with pastels. He had one that looked like it was done in pencil. There, There's one that's pencil or, or ink. Right. I know. It's, some of them have got the graffiti look. Some of them have definitely got that sort of pop art look. So we should really have him... I know. Isn't that amazing? Because David, you're clearly for, very for crying talented. Crying out loud. And I said, "Is it okay if we show your art on the show?" And he said, "Yeah, of course." Yeah. Uh, I did notice that one of David's um, more frequently used apps uh, is something called Art Studio. 
Art Studio. That's how he did this kitty cat. Picture. Yeah, for, for example. Instance. I mean, that is really good. And Art yeah. Studio. So I thought, okay, well, well I'll, um, Another I'll, art studio. I'll download Art Studio and now, see, how do you do see the what pencil the deal one? is. Now, this is the robot and pencil. He did that with Quick, uh, quick Sketch. Yeah, which actually isn't something that I even played around with yet. Yeah. So that's another one for anyone who's interested in David's work. And then he brought it into Sketchpad Pro to add color. So this is this is a valuable photo stream. It's auto artist on uh, on on uh, Flickr if you want to look and and you can really I think get a sense of what these programs are capable of. Right, because he doesn't have just one style either. I mean, he does oh you know like the lion photo is very different than the flash. Don't you hate people and, who can draw? Ah, uh, they're the worst. I hate, it's like somebody who can play a musical instrument. I hate them too. I know I'm madly <laughs> jealous of them. <laughs> just jealous, not hate. Yeah. Yeah. Jealous. So this quick sketch gives you kind of a nice little sketchy feel to mm, it. A Neapolitan. It's Kuvik. Q V I K sketch. Yeah, Kuvik. Kuvik sketch. Kvik sketch. I love it. But so for for today, um, if we want to look at Art Studio, which is what David said, hey, if you want one app. This is the one I really, oh, really and like. Oh, you are such a natural well, artist. Well, I'm very good at this, obviously. This is Art Studio. <laughs> let, me, let me bring up... Be quiet. This is good. No, wait till you see my drawings. Let me bring up my brush <laughs> settings so you get an idea of this. What, the, what Art Studio is, for anybody who's kind of like, eh, you know what this is? The modern Mac Paint. Yeah. Wait, if you were a kid or an adult and you used to like Mac Paint back in the day, very, very similar idea because it's good for people. I mean, if you've got talent... This is an incredible tool, and you're going to love it. But if you don't, and you're like me, it's just a lot of fun. You know, you're drawing stuff. You can use the paint bucket. You know, it's, I guess I guess it's got a Photoshop, uh, Photoshop type uh, feel, but it really kind of is more of, you know, it's painting. It's colors and, and kind of silly stuff. So I can change my brushes. I can change my color, obviously. It uses layers, so it's got that Photoshop element. You can import photos uh, to use to draw on top of. Or what you can do is you can import photos and like you were uh, showing me I'll show a before program the show with you another app, yeah. you can create a uh, artsy type filter for the photos. Now, um, and then what fo uh, what uh, Art Studio also has, which is really nice, is lessons. So for example, oh that's kind of yeah. Neat. So if you're kind of like me, where you're like, okay, I can't just doodle all day, but I'm really not good at this. You can go through maybe like a like an animal tutorial, and it'll kind of help you to maybe put together a rabbit and 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 get an idea of what's going on here. You can, um, you know, if you were going to do some sort of like symmetrical feel, you can you can draw these sorts of things. This is what what reminds me of Mac Paint so much because when I was I like a little that. kid, that's I would fun. sit in front of my yep. uncle's Mac. Yep. And yep. be like, look, it's the same on both yep. sides. Um, so the possibilities are endless, obviously. Uh, brush strokes and colors and filters and, and all that good stuff. It, it's everything that you would want and a lot more. And, and it has a sort of neat um, little, uh, you get good at it. It's like the little, uh, if you do a three-finger uh, click, then you can, um, you can change certain settings or clear layers. You can also move the image around with two fingers or zoom in That's pretty or zoom out. I know. Yeah. It's, I mean, again, I am like the worst artist in the world. But if you're good, I, I, although I feel like I've kind of just drawn a rib cage. Yeah, it's very, uh, well, it looks little, like it's uh, elephants maybe. Dueling, see, I have a little purple heart. Dueling elephants. A square. Or did dueling you, elephants. Did you ever do kid pics when you were little? I think you're probably the age. What is kid pics? It's a Broderbund drawing program for kids. That I think really turned them on to drawing in a lot of ways. And I think, I see kids with these iPads all the time. I, little kids. And I, I just think this would be a great a program. It's for, awesome. For I mean, that. it's, uh, Art Studio, by the way, is two ninety nine, so three bucks, um, and it started as an iPhone app. And you look at this and it, on the iPad, I've never used it on the iPhone, but it's like, oh gosh, the iPhone seems like it would be so frustrating because you have so much less real estate. But, um, but some of you may be familiar with it, uh, for the iPhone, but there is an iPad, uh, enhanced version as well. Of course, you can save the photos and send them to people. It's good times. Yeah. This is Art, Art Studio, Studio for the iPad. And by the way, that Quick Sketch Pro is 99 cents. So hey. it's a simpler program. I also found a, a very interesting uh, program that's specifically for kids. This is called Kid Art for iPad that is very simple. You know, just big colors, you know, swatches, simple tools. So in my opinion, kids would do fine with any of these programs. But if you wanted to, uh, something that was a little more kid specific. That would be a good one. I'm going to show you what uh, also started with the iPhone. In fact, it was uh, shown by Steve Jobs on stage, um, uh, I think, and early on in the iPhone development. A New Yorker cover was done by it. It's, uh, it's called Rushes, and, uh, and it is 
also a very uh, fancy uh, program. Uh, let me see. Is this going to be? So you can, um, wait, let me, let me, it started up with something that I don't, I guess this is, okay, I good. I <laughs> start. I guess, I guess it, if you're used to the metaphor, let me go back to the gallery. If you're used to the metaphor of pages uh, and the iWork suite, that's what was confusing me. That's kind of the, oh, there's, here's your gallery, and now you can draw. I think there's a lot of similarity between these, and I, and truthfully, I don't know enough about drawing to know you know what tools what features you might need this seems very similar to the sketchpad pro program so you know i i'm not sure what i would look for though if you know is the ability to do different brush styles and of course mm -hmm. this has that the ability to make uh make your brush uh bigger or smaller i think this has that these are kind of fundamental things this is transparency um I'm just not good enough to really be able to use this in any intelligent way. It does have undo, and I think that that's fairly important for somebody like me. I can go back to my original painting or redo it. Um, and uh, you see I can do layers, which is something that I think yours does not have. And I think that there are, that's something that a lot of Photoshop people are Art, interested no, in. No, Art Studio does. Uh, it does? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. In fact, that's kind of where it's cooler than some of the other yeah, art la Layers, apps. you know, if you're a Photoshop user, layers might be fairly important important to you that's called brushes and it's kind of the king of the hill you know in terms of illustration i think for the mac and probably because you know that new yorker cover was done and it got a lot of attention from steve jobs and uh, and others i think um, steve job also probably likes it because it's got that pages feel too yeah yeah it does really feel like it's part of the iWork suite what else you got? Another app that is sort of similar to brushes, I would say. Uh, so this is something that I drew, like in about two oh, seconds. Oh, isn't using that sweet? Live sketch. Now I know that that's, that's really good. I know this is nerdy and it's lame, and you know it looks like a you know a bad card. But I mean, I was and the and the photo is a little bit blown out because this is on white. In fact, you know what I could do? I could. Uh, ooh, how do I? You know what? You know I should, what it would be neat. I don't know how I import into Live Sketch because I drew it earlier, and then I I know I can export. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna I'll let you figure that out while I'm yes, gonna please. briefly show because our Art Studio developers put this up uh, the Art Studio website iPhoneClan.com with example drawings, and I think it's always inspiring to see the stuff that people are doing on their iPad or their iPhone with these programs is pretty amazing. Now that's a little bit more like you might do. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, those are cool. Whoa. Yeah. That's a creepy one. Yeah, some of them That's are neat. very simple, and then some of them are just really, really quite remarkable. So instead of showing you how to import something into Live Sketch, because I actually don't think you can, um, I'll just show you. So this is like, okay, so let's change the background so it's easier for us to see on this, uh, on this computer. This is like, this is just me drawing sort of a, you know, I don't know. I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing. I always, I always go back to flowers or trees because it's like the only thing I can draw. But this is a long time ago, Leo. I don't know if you remember. We featured a video of a Japanese artist drawing like an yeah. anime woman. You know what? Woman. This, I, this is this the program is, for me. I mean, look how good that well, looks. Well, because I'm just being a nerd here, and it actually uh, But it kind creates, of is smart about what you're doing, Yeah, I guess. it's all based on the touch of your wow. finger, and so you know, more pressure will make something darker. And by the way, it doesn't have to be black and white either. You can change the color of things. So like maybe now, in the middle of my... Remember, after we watched that video, somebody told us, well, it's not pressure... Because the iPad doesn't sense pressure, it's how much of your finger is on the screen. The more a finger on the screen, and it can sense that, the more points right, on the yes, screen. Right, yes, that's, that's good. But that's then good it says that's pressure, which it is, I guess, because you're pressing harder. Right. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Look at that. And, and it, I know. Sarah, I you're know. an artist. I'm an artiste, very much. I was this born is gorgeous. To do this. I'm gonna so what's the name of this off. one? This was the one for me, I think. Uh, this is called Live Sketch HG, uh, one ninety nine. Wow. Two buck chuck. And uh, this is great. And then what you do is when you're done, it, it's simple. No layers. Uh, the, the, it's, 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 it kind of does one thing in a variety of colors, but does it well. And when you're done, you save it. You know, if you press the export, you can either save the image or you can send an email. Like, you know, I sent my little flower miss you email to So one thing to a special that's clear when you earlier. look at these three programs is that there's some programs that have a lot of features like layers and import. And there's some features like this live sketch, which really is, is more about just a quick doodle or a quick sketch on there. And yeah. yet, I think for me, this makes more sense. I'm not the professional. No. This would be exactly the program. In that fact, I would play Art with. Studio is 
you you click around. I mean, I, I did a bit of a disservice because I'm, I, you know, it's I, I'm not uh, yeah. I'm not really an artist. Me too. But, with uh, brushes, I'd, it is overwhelming, and it's yeah. something where you go like, wow, I could do all sorts of things, and if I have some time, and maybe I was under pressure, and someone's going to give me a million dollars, I'll put together something nicely. But really, something like Live Sketch is better because. Right. I don't have a lot of talent, and it makes me look better than I am. I love that. You made like a nice Instagram. little card. But you made a cute little card, and I thought that I was... I made a cute little card yeah. that, that I think one more, well. one more I'll show you. This is Artista Oil HD, and this is, the, this is what you were talking about, where it's taking a photo, an existing photo. I'll take a, uh, a picture of, um, of, of my daughter as a baby. I've used this uh, before for Instagram. It's a cute one. And it will then paint it in a style uh, they have... You know, the uh, Renaissance painters, they have the Expressionists, they have the Impressionists. So you can take a photo and turn it into an Impressionist painting kind of automatically. Now, you probably can't that. see this on the screen as well, but you can see the brush strokes. Oh, yeah. You can see the oil. It really took the original, which is more of a, a regular photo, and turned it into a painting. Of course, you can fine-tune it. There's all the parameters here that make it more or less... Uh, yeah, because you know. depending on if it's someone's face, you don't want it to get too distorted right. necessarily. Right. But for something like this, and you can have different uh, uh, borders, so it looks more like a canvas. So this is something for people like me who are complete idiots, but want to take an existing picture and make it look painterly, make it look like a painting. You know, this would work great with Instagram. You could take this what looks like a painting now. That's so cute. Yeah, and I could save that out. You can and, print it, uh, put it on your wall. Yeah, and then it really looks like a painting. Yeah, isn't that neat? So that's called Artista. HD, nice, and uh, that is kind of a little bit not exactly a painting program. That's for people like me who have no talent. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling. It's yeah. funny because uh, I've held off on the art apps because I kept saying to myself, "We don't know, know anything about." I'm going to spend some time and I'm going to get good and I'm going to impress everybody. And the the only thing I could do is draw a flower. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the "I miss you." I thought that was good. Thank you. Leo. I thought you did a very nice job Thank with that, you. Sarah Lane. I think it's it's the thought that counts, as we all know, uh, with uh, friends who have kids and all of their bad artwork is up on the fridge. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. I'm gonna paste this, uh, post this on Instagram. This this crazy thing I did of Abby. You should. <laughs> And then Horrible. people are going to yell at me. People are going to go, we've seen this before. Say, it just looks a little different. Yeah, right. You, What's going you didn't on, take that. You didn't take that in the iPhone. Too many babies. You didn't do that in the iPhone. Yeah, because you complain about that when other people do I know. It. I'm, bad. Um, I'm bad. So, uh, speaking of people who are better artists than us, yes. ever heard of an artist named David Hockney? I love David Hockney. Now, in I fact, I you saw it we, uh, when we showed you the New Yorker uh, issue. The, it had David Hockney cover, and it showed him drawing it So David. video. Um, David Hockney has been around longer than uh, oh, yeah. li long better than I've been around, Cup certainly. Well, and he's yeah, been a couple of years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think he's like a year older than me. Yeah. Um, he's been a uh, highly respected artist and 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 has certainly used mixed medium. Yes, he's uh, done Polaroid pictures. I know with some of his art. Yeah, photographs mm -hmm. and 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 everything in between. He actually has a current exhibition in Paris using iPads to display his artwork oh, that's made on iPads. And in fact, we have some video of kind of the way that it looks and, and what his inspirations were. I'm, I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do somewhere. Somewhere in the vault. Where it is. David Nobody Hockney knows. using an iPad. Here we go. Here we go. Here is the uh, venerable, esteemed David Hockney. Uh, and I thought there's a kind of irony here uh, to look at a lot of them you need an old-fashioned exhibition. Look at, look at all these. The, the other iPads. great new thing in it is the distribution of the image. That is profoundly new. That's what I like about Hockney. He's the thinking. The fact that mm -hmm. I could make a drawing of the sunrise at 6 a.m. and at 7 a.m. send it out to 20 people. That very morning, they all liked it and said, well, at 8 o'clock, look, if there's a thing from me, press the button, they get a, pic a very so fresh he, picture. Is he drawing on the, the iPad? Sunrise. He's drawing on the well, iPad. Well, yeah. And sharing it. Uh, and sharing it on the iPad. That's they pretty neat. That. So it encouraged me, okay, I'll do another tomorrow. And remember, if I'd just had a pencil and paper by my bedside, the sunrise wouldn't be that interesting. I love that. Isn't that great? Yeah. So he, um, he's kind of going, listen, I, I, there are different ways to make art, but this gives me a, uh, a way to make art that I just can't achieve even with a, a pencil and paper in my skill, my raw skill. 
So he's got artwork that he's made on an iPad, displayed on a variety of iPads in this big exhibition room where people can go up and pinch and zoom and zoom out and uh, load other. There's there's more than one image on each iPad. Isn't that cool? Yeah. See, I, this is where I, well, I've always kind of been a fan of his. He's very modern and, and experimental, but he's a great artist, too. Yeah. It's kind of a neat combination. Extremely talented, and it's always yeah. nice to see somebody who's obviously been on the art scene for so long go, great new medium, love iPad. it. iPad. Going to draw with the Let's iPad. Let's do it. Uh, so, uh, since we're such good artists and we've displayed such to I you today, am a good artist. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll upload my, my miss you, um, artwork. You, would you please to, put that on Instagram? Put that on, I'm not going to put that on Instagram. That's so embarrassing. Maybe I I'll thought put it, it was up on really my Flickr good. stream and, yeah, and, people and could add use the link that. in our show notes. And by the way, a lot of people in the chat room say they miss you too. Oh, thanks chat room. I don't know Hope why. I see you again soon. You're here. Yeah. We're all together. <laughs> What's to miss? All together. Um, so I'll add that link into our show notes. I don't know why. But if you want my Miss You uh, picture, then you can have it for free. I won't even make you pay. Um, and all the links to all the other apps that we mentioned will also be on our iPad Today uh, page. That's at twit.tv slash IPT. That's where you can watch this episode, past episodes, read notes, get links, get ideas, and fall in love with us over and over <laughs> again. I miss Qu- you. A quick reminder that you. we do record iPad Today live on Thursdays. If you're here with us now, then you already know this. But if you're not, uh, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 1.30 p.m. Pacific, and I believe 7.30 a.m. if you're in Melbourne, Australia, because somebody asked me the other day and I did a little calculation because you're 18 hours ahead of us. Um, so check us out live if you can, and if not, our show goes up within... Yeah, 24 hours or so afterwards. In fact, I'm going to try to um, cut down on on the lag time between live taping and... You, do you edit this? So Jeff and I, Jeff does Jeff most does of the heavy lifting, and then I that. go through and... and Thank uh, you. Yeah, well, I, you're welcome. I had no idea what happened to it after we were done. <laughs> it's like, I could just, I don't know, make something up, and I think you'd believe me. I would believe you. I believe everything you say. I'm glad. Uh, and if you have app ideas of your own... Again, we're not good artists, but we did art apps because you wanted them and you gave us so many good ideas. You can email us at iPadToday at twit.tv. Our show today brought to you by our friends at audible.com. Great place for audiobooks. 75,000 titles strong. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I, I, this, this should just sell itself in my opinion. I just love Audible so much. Right now, half off on a, hundred, on a thousand unabridged books. But I'm going to tell you something better, how you can get an Audible book absolutely free forget half off how about a a hundred percent off all you have to do is go to audible.com slash ipad today 100 percent off is good value actually i got that wrong audible podcast.com slash ipad today and uh, so you'll be signing up for the gold account that's a book a month and the first month is free the first book is free cancel at any time and you know sir i always spend a lot of time trying to find a book that you might like when I go through Audible, like, what would Sarah like? And last week we talked about Keith Richards' uh, biography. We did. Yep. You know, he really did snort those ashes. <sighs> Whose ashes? His father's. He snorted them. Yeah, you never heard that whole... Everyone said, oh, that's a myth. That didn't happen. Keith Richards said, no, oh, yeah. it did. Oh, did it? Yeah, he said, I, I spilled a little bit of it, and I felt bad, so I snorted it. Snorted it up. It. Yeah. <laughs> now he's in me. Now he's in there. You me. have it. Sorry, I, I didn't ruin anything, did did I? <laughs> I thought this might be a book you'd like. Sex at Dawn: The Prehistoric Origins of Modern Sexuality. Do it up, baby. <laughs> I don't know why. I just Sex I, at Dawn. I I'm li- asleep at dawn. Leave me alone. Yeah, no, really. Uh, I I li- I have to say I like books about anthropology, like how we got the way we are. Yeah, oh, me um, too. And this oh, sounds really interesting, doesn't it? How you know how how we got the way we are in in any respect now if you want something that there's of course a lot of fiction here's one you also might enjoy i know eileen would enjoy this chocolate wars the 150 year rivalry between the world's greatest chocolate makers See, i didn't know that there was a great rivalry between you know who wrote this who deborah cadbury oh, so i have, I have a feeling know. she's gonna have a little you know prejudice i'm sure uh, now, Cadbury isn't isn't what I consider the best chocolate around, but I'm sure back in the day it was pretty Could have been. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah. Well, there are a lot more now. Our friend Nick Bilton, who's been on Twitter, he's a New York Times writer, and one of the most modern people I know wrote this book, and this is actually one I would listen to. I live in the future, and here's how it works, why your world, work, and brain 
are being creatively disrupted. Is it because we have too much coming in and we can't focus on No, anything? it's good. He's one of those people that says it's a good thing. It's a good thing, it's is it? It's a good it? thing. Uh, Crazy Bolton. He, he's actually making his art. He, he says the world's been going to hell for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. And there's always this fear when a new technology re- re- replaces the old. But in fact, this is an exciting time. And this is something I've thought for a long time. This is really good time to be. I mean, look what people like. See, David Hockney could say, I'm a professional. I'm an artist. I work in paint. But these iPads, these aren't. That's not art. Instead, he embraces it. And that's mm-hmm. the thing is some people, mm-hmm. and I think the people who watch our shows, embrace this change and say, well, what does this mean? How is this going to change my life? What could I do that's exciting and new and different and yeah. good? Yeah. And that's what this book is about. If you are uh, interested in the future and what it's going to bring, this is a great choice. I live in the future. Here's how it works. Nick Bilton wrote it now. You can get it for free or any one of 75,000 I- uh, other titles. Go to audible.com. I'm sorry, audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. You know, the only hard thing is picking that first book. But the good news is you get another next month and another the month after. If you've got a long commute, you spend time at the gym, cleaning the house. How about this one? Oogie. The dog only a family could love. I love him. Look at him. He's cute. Or her. Not sure. We don't know. An Oogie could be either. Oogie. He's cute. How about this one? Anthony what? Bourdain's newest. Medium raw, a bloody Valentine to the world of food and the people who cook. Have I, you read any of his stuff? I love Anthony Bourdain. Um, I watch his show, he, No Reservations. But the problem is, is he's a real meat lover. So a lot of right. his stuff You're just doesn't apply to me. Listen to his voice, though. I just love his voice. Wild boar pate en croute, the narrow area between force meat and crust filled with clear, amber-tinted aspic. I'm hungry! Wait. Me too. He's got that great New York thing going. He does. Audible.com. Audiblepodcast.com Podcast. to get it for free. <laughs> Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Well, what I do is I go to Audible.com, browse around, find a book, then go to Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today and sign up. We love Audible. And tell them we sent you. By the way, it works great on the iPad. In fact, there's an Audible app. that uh, It's an iPhone app, but it works great on the iPad. That yeah. Your whole library is there. Is there anything that... Well, I'm, I'm, I keep thinking about the idea of, of people who are interested in the future and people who kind of... Futurists. Yeah, futurists. Yeah. I guess that's what you call it. Uh, is there anything that you don't want to evolve? Because sometimes, like, I'm... Oh, I, yeah. I, I have, you know, Audible I've, I've gotten on board with, but much more recently than I'd like to admit, because I had an issue with... Not so you were resisting it. I was a resistor. Yeah, I like I like the old books, I like the smell of them. Um, I love I was, books. I was I, you doing know, that whole. Hey, I still buy books. Look, you you were talking earlier. I've just bought uh, Daisy Whitney's new book. I love Mockingbirds. Isn't that it great? Looks really nice. Yeah, she does Congrats this weekend. Media. Daisy yeah, Whitney. well done, Daisy. And I just you know she sent me a note. She sent me a note. It turned out it was a form letter saying you're in the acknowledgments. So and she said, would you please buy a copy? So I said yes. Thank you for putting me in the acknowledgments. She said, well, I didn't mean you. <laughs> Oh, it's just like my family and friends, yeah, and, and you're part of that? Apparently, I'm, yeah, I'm not, you know, I don't know, but not think, me by name, I guess. But you know what I think I had to do was, instead of me saying, you know what, I like books the way the books were intended, in the hardcover, and the, you know, the, 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 the dead trees, or whatever, it's like, I finally let go of that and said, yeah, n- nobody's stopping book presses. Right. Yeah, I can still buy a book if I want. Now I just have about 50 ways to, to exactly. read this book or listen to this book, and that's a good thing. I still buy a lot of books. I love books, but uh, but yeah. I also like to listen. Yeah. You know what? It's like my mommy. I like having somebody read to me. Like my mommy. Yeah. And that's what Audible for Or Anthony is. Bourdain. Or, yeah. He doesn't sound like my mommy. <laughs> and then I said to him, get your hands Mom out of the foie gras. Good mates. <laughs> <laughs> What's been going on in iPad land over the last week? You know, the gold master's out to developers, Leo. Which means we're close to 4.2 which for means, the iPad. Which means we are close. Close to folders, close to multitasking. Close to what else? Close to changing the GD <laughs> button from the uh, orientation lock, which is I what it ought to be. I not say anything. By the, the way, mute. we got a lot of feedback from you guys. Some of, some of you agree with me that... Hey, not the end of the world. You can still lock your orientation. You just got to make a few clicks. And others who agree with you who say, this is ridiculous. Why change something that isn't broken? So, again, it's, it's, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer, but Steve Jobs is, is going to answer for us. Yeah, I'm sick of oogie on him. Pipe down, Wolfie. Oogie boogie woogie. So you see Mark Zuckerberg kind of did. I don't know. Is this a diss or not? He, so... 
So yesterday, Facebook had a mobile event. It's mobile event. Uh, so that was, what, Wednesday? On yeah. Tuesday, I was saying to everybody, oh, I think it's going to be a new iPad app because they don't have one They yet. don't have one. They're ripe for one. It would make perfect sense. Well, Maybe you, they'll talk about something else, but that, that was my best guess. Yeah, well, you weren't alone. In fact, that's one of the first questions journalists asked Mark Zuckerberg. Are you building an iPad app? And if so, when is it going to be in our hands? Mark, iPad's not mobile. Next question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not mobile. It's a, it's a computer. That's like different different thing. I think Apple would disagree with you. Well, sorry. <laughs> oh, I, don't you? I kind of like that's. I'm liking it. I'm not. You think it's not? Well, it is mobile in the sense you carry it around, but it is more of a computer. I mean, so a laptop's mobile. Why are they mutually exclusive? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a computer, and so is your iPhone. I mean, they're all computers. Even though Facebook is like has half a billion users, and it seems like it's bigger than God, they have a limited, like everybody else, ability to develop, and they decided, well, we're not going to... You know, because you have a browser on here, yeah. and, and frankly, Facebook on the browser is fine. Mm -hmm. Do they really need an app? Uh... Many people who buy the friendly browser, which like is really friendly. just the mobile version of Facebook anyway. Right. By the way, there's an update. Uh, if any of you were thinking that it was somewhat limited, now you can upload stuff from friendly. Um, but wouldn't you be better off? I mean, I, 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 no, I, because you recommended friendly, I did download I did. it and I use it. Yeah. It's not um, perfect, but it's the only thing I've got. So I do use it. You know, it. one thing I don't like about it, it's doing it again. It's asked me to log in all the time. Um, that's because I don't know why. I have no I idea. Like, I like how you I started the sentence. I wasn't crazy about how you ended it, but I like the. I like the. Well, that's because I, I don't know why. Yeah, no, that doesn't do that to me. In yeah, fact, well. let me go to friendly right now. Actually, it may because I did recently update it and I haven't launched uh, since on this. Let's just see. Let's just see. Fine. Let's just launch your friendly. Fr launch your friendly. Where baby. are you friendly? You're not being see, very Facebook, friendly. See Facebook. I just log in on Safari. And I get the Facebook. And I get the friendly. And it's, and it's the full version. See, so. I'm, all, I'm all good. Oh, yeah, you logged in. I'm all good. That's it. Um, I wonder if you... Oh, I no, mean, see? It, it's going to do it. Watch. Oh. It's going to make you oh. laugh. Oh. Meanwhile, uh, there's Mark Zuckerberg. Meanwhile, there's... Uh, I don't know what's going on. You know, on. I have to hand it to Mark Zuckerberg there's, for wearing a tight T-shirt you know, and his propensity to sweat perfectly. Is he four inches tall? How tall? He's short. Well, maybe the people next to him are very tall. Maybe he like only hires tall maybe, people. Maybe he's short he and He looks short tall. and pugnacious. Pugnacious. Doesn't he? Well, so here, here's the problem I have with, with his answer is, you know, I know that, that, that they made a movie about the sort of odd way that Mark Zuckerberg talks to people and answers questions. So I get that. It's, you know, that's, that's part of his charm, I guess. But someone says, hey, are you, you're, are you making an iPad app? And he's like, no, iPad's not mobile. Next question. It's like, well, he knows that that's a, somewhat of a flippant answer and not really true. The iPad is like... The most mobile thing. I'm kind of with him though that mobile doesn't mean you pick it up. Mobile means it's a phone, and in this that's what mobile means that it's a phone. I think so. And in this case, hmm. that this is this is because Safari does such. By the way, how do you like my new Facebook uh, <laughs> picture? I don't <laughs> because, like it. <laughs> doesn't that look like me? Looks like you got to unbutton your belt. <laughs> Because, Not too far, of course. <laughs> because Safari, <laughs> Safari does such a good job with Facebook. It, what he's saying is, look, you've got a full browser, a six forty by forty browser. What What do you need? Uh, he could have just said that. See, well, I, 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 don't, go, I don't. He think came that's back not later a, and kind of said that. Yeah, but, I know. But see, look, I posted that picture that I did. Oh, uh, that's so cute. Yeah, on Instagram. I just think it's a little bit. I mean, I think it's. I don't know. I gotta disagree. I don't think mobile means phone. Well, you and know, in fact, all these tools are being built because the phone is kind of archaic. Well, I know that uh, you phone, need a phone, phone for certain things. Phone for, form factor. Phone form. Well, I don't this know. This is a phone form I think, factor. It's I think just he has. I think Facebook has the right to say no. That's not what we mean when we say mobile. Obviously, it's not what everybody means, but yeah. he has the right to say, no, no, well, we're talking about phone apps here right. today, uh, and we don't think you need... Uh, what he should have said is, you know, the Safari Facebook experience on the iPad is so good, we don't feel like there needs to be an app. That would have been, that would have been a, a sufficient much more answer, and people might have been like, oh, disappointed, thought that there would be an iPad app announcement today, but probably it wouldn't have gotten so much attention. You know, well, what's the over-under, you think, on them actually working on an iPad app and they just don't want to talk about it. Uh, I believe that they're, I believe that, this you, is why I kind of like he's Mark. Being serious. I think he was very candid. I think he meant it. Yeah. yeah I, you know, if There's Steve no Jobs says that, thing. if Steve Jobs says that, I'm thinking, 
He might have something up his sleeve. Not Mark. Mark, you get the feeling like, well, first of all, he's wearing a T-shirt. He doesn't have any sleeves. So he doesn't have anything up his sleeves. He's We have short sleeves. Well, they're short. I don't think there's much that could go up there. Maybe a pack of cigs. I don't know. <laughs> so I just feel like, no, they're not, gonna do, they're not going to do an iPad uh, announcement. I thought the announcements they made were very interesting. We'll, we, they we'll, are. We'll and save in fact, I worry later, a little bit about Foursquare. But that's a whole other discussion. Mm, that's another discussion for another day. We'll do that on Net at Night. Why don't we on Tuesday? How okay. about How about you? All right. You guys Meanwhile, have fun. Meanwhile, we've got a tip. No, join us. Come in and sit down with me and Amber, and we'll talk. Okay. You, me, Amber, we'll talk. Okay. That sounds good. We got a viewer tip, and this is a uh, this is what some people would call a duh tip, but maybe you haven't thought about it before. So I'm not going to say that necessarily. This is from Serge Garboyan. I hope I'm saying that right, Serge. I think you are. He writes in, "Hey, Sarah and Leo." I recently went to Oklahoma City and was amazed that I was able to use my iPad as my boarding pass while flying United Airlines. You and I know about this. Because yes, we just went to Vegas and Tom and Eileen used. I was. They were their so. There now. There's modern. There's modern. There's the modern. See, oh, I was they saying. They gloated up and yeah, down the block about that. Yeah, that was what. What airline was that? Uh, it was also United. United. Uh, Serge goes on to say, I was, I was nervous, never done this before, but I want to know if it was going to work. So I went through security, I handed them my ID, they scanned my iPad, it's just an email that's sent to mobile devices, <laughs> mobile devices, that allows you to use your uh, cell phone or, or your iPad so as your boarding pass. So you're saying United trumps Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> I'm saying that in this case, the iPad is very mobile, mobile. and yeah, convenient. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's just Mobile a lowercase m. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure we'll lower. get. I'm sure we'll hear from our from our lovely viewers, and they will tell us. They'll, they will tell us. Yeah. What do you guys think? You, you, you guys. Uh, one thing I got to say about our our viewing audience and our listening audience as a whole is, boy, do you guys have opinions? I love that. Mm -hmm, Don't you think too. that's great? Yes. I think we actually encourage that by you and I fighting so much. Yes. That we're giving them the space to disagree. You I'd know. love to say that we're just putting this all on, but we actually hate each other. Yeah. No. So it's not an act. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so anyway, sir. <laughs> I hated you since Tech TV. Ah! You stole me, Kevin Rose from da me. Port, La Porte. <laughs> Yes, I stole Kevin Rose from you. <laughs> no, yeah, no. yeah. Now I'm good starting the rumors. Now I'm starting the rumors. Um, so if you haven't used your iPad as a boarding pass yet, and you you're can going use to be your iPhone it, for it, though. That's what uh, Eileen and Tom. Did. Yeah. So yeah. iPhone, iPad. It's um, if you've got both, then maybe you don't need to use your iPad. But if you're only carrying your iPad, remember that it's a really good little trick, yep. and it'll save a tree. Also, Here's a holiday tip for you. Yeah. So did you know, this is also kind of a duh tip, but I didn't know about it, that you can engrave an iPad? I did. This holiday season. Free. Or for any reason. Yeah. yeah you get free engraving, and it's a two-line thing. So if you just say add engraving when you're going through the app store, and you write, Sarah Lane sucks, and on line two, she stole Kevin Rose from I don't me. think I should really engrave that. And make sure that. you capitalize all the, uh, <laughs> the words because that makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's a <laughs> then, title. Then that is her badge of shame. You know, it's kind of like and then, a And then letter. I give it to you. And then you give it to me as a gift. And I say, Merry Christmas, Sarah. And I say, Leo, thank you so much. And then you turn, and it, turn over. it over and go, yai, yai, yada. <laughs> And then you win, and I get well, a free iPad. Look so. what they, you know, I mean, you think I'm crazy, but uh, look what they put as their suggested uh, engraving. Thanks for all the love, free food, and, oops, wrong picture. Thanks for all the love, free food, and advice. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I guess some people give you Freudian. love, free food, and that's, advice. That's a little Freudian. Maybe that's for your mom you on know, Mother's Day. Um. Well, yeah, I can't. Yeah, maybe I guess. My mom, mom gave you free food, love, and advice. That's true. Yep. Yeah, in all different orders. She never. She didn't charge you for lunch. No. 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 Certainly not. My mom. Uh, my mom still gives me free food uh, whenever I'll take it. She's been baking me cookies. <laughs> free food. You're really good, mom. No, my mom. I, you know, I will get a call from mom. Mom did not charge me for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I will get a call from her. She calls me sometimes. She misunderstands things I say. I say and calls me. The other day I was doing uh, the Daily Gizwiz, and uh, I said I was. We were doing a coffee tasting. And I said she thought I said it's weak and bitter like my mother, and called me. <laughs> and it was. What do you mean? I, I don't. I have to listen back to the recording, but I'm pretty sure I didn't say that exactly. What would you have said? Did right. you say it's weak and bitter like something? Yeah. Like my probably like you brother? did. I think like my brother. I don't know. I think Dick said. I asked Dick. He said. I think you said it was weak and bitter like me. I think that's probably what I said. Maybe. 
Mm. Maybe your mom heard what she wanted to hear and she wanted to pick a fight. Maybe she just wanted a reason to call. She just, you know what? Why don't, I don't you call me weak and bitter? How yeah. are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you never call. Did you like that scarf I knitted you? Did you get the she scarf? She does knit me scarves and socks. I, because when I met her, she was knitting. She's knitting. She's always knitting. She's, she's, she sat there. She's doing a Peruvian hat. Oh, I can't say who for, for my son. I can't. I whisper in my son. Because I'm sure he, he doesn't miss a knife head He today. loves this show. I bet he does. Oh, Hank. Anyway, so you can engrave an iPad for yourself or someone else. If you haven't bought one yet, if there's a birthday coming up, obviously the holidays are coming up or some other occasion, it's something nice to know. If you are on the fence about it, hey, you can engrave it. It's like uh, tattooing your loved one. Do we really have <laughs> tattooing your loved one? Well, if your iPad is your loved one, sure. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to tattoo mom with her name, though. I think that's going a little too far. Yeah, perhaps not. Do we really uh, have a viewer named Goofball Jones? Yeah, and Goofball Jones uh, has a cat named Bubbles. Yes. The reason I know this is because Goofball Jones sent in a picture of Bubbles being used as the iPad cat oh, stand. Crap. Which is now, How many of these are we going to get? It's become the battle cry of the cat people. I've, oh, I've, I've awakened the cat people. Now I know that it'll you be poo- on your head, Sarah you Lane. You poo-poo this and you act. Oh, I'm so upset about the cat people, but we're a strong people. We're good people, and um, as you can see, Bubbles is a Seinfeld fan, so she's not. Oh, is that bad. what she's watching? She's I watching Seinfeld stand actually, up. She's specifically not watching. She's got her back turned to Seinfeld. Well, that's what cats do. They show you exactly. They say, "You want to see some cat butt? Because here's what I'm giving you." This is how I the show cats my do that love. To me all the time. I, I face you. With my bottom. What I've done is I've 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 uh, I've awakened a monster. I'm I'm acutely aware that by asking for uh, cat stand photos, oh, this isn't uh, the last of them. No, no, it's it's only just begun. I mean, I must have gotten about fifty <laughs> this week. It's only just begun. So I decided to feature a couple, and then maybe we'll we'll uh, we'll give it a few weeks before we go back to the <clears> cats. <throat> uh, next cat. Bootsy from Grand Rapids, Michigan, oh, she's, scented by she's, Bootsy's She's hand showing and her butt to you and me. Yeah, and, and Bootsy says, you know what you ought to do is clean your pad. Yeah, it's a little... Clean, clean that pad. Yeah. Look at Bootsy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm a sucker for anybody Siamese. Or you know, kind of I like it that uh, this viewer has chosen a cat that matches her decor. Exactly. The chair... The blanket and the cat all match, and, and skin tone a little bit. <laughs> Finally, I couldn't leave Little Teeny out from Little Tin, Colorado, because not only is Teeny a cat stand. Yes. <laughs> By the way, thank you to Teeny's is human Teeny cat a person. Oh, there's a, okay. Teeny's, Teeny's the cat. cat. But Teeny has has ingeniously figured out that a cat scratching post can also be an iPad stand. So while Teeny acts. As one iPad stand, her scratching post acts as another. I opened all these for you. I'm beforehand. I'm dying to see this picture. I, I just, bet you are. You have you've actually seen it. I sent it to you yesterday. Oh yeah, and you, you wrote know. back. Oh lord. Did I really? Like did I actually respond? You know what you did. <laughs> you know what you did. You know what was that, Eva? You know, it might, it might have been Eva. Oh, really? It might have been my sister. Oh, I don't boy. know. Oh boy. See, okay. So this Wait is Wait a minute. There's two cat. There, There's what? two iPads. There's one cat. See, so there I am over on the cat sound, just hanging out. And she's playing Angry Birds. And this, she's playing Angry Birds on top of Teeny the cat. This I mean, person has owns two iPads. One to play Angry Birds on. Yeah, that's right. And one to do everything else with. And by the way, she wanted to point out, if you didn't notice, that there's a cup holder in the corner that she got as a as a oh uh, from the from the photo jo- photo JoJo uh, uh, lens yeah, cup holder. Some, yeah, I guess some show that yeah that you we did have you we have that one. Off. You want if you ever want to drink a fine cup of coffee out of a camera lens, it's just in the cupboard. Ooh, over there. out of a telephoto. From photo JoJo. I would love it. Now, so, by the way, she's also, this person is very much devoted to us because notice she's got the Marware case as well that I recommend. I know. I love everything about this picture. Down to that rug. Like a Tetris rug. Everything about oh, it's that. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I, I want to marry this person. Except she's already, <laughs> we can tell she's already Catherine, married. Catherine, if you're single, let no, us no, know. She's wearing a redding wing. Oh, well. A re- I guess did I say just... a redding wing? I think I did. Gosh, what's wrong with us? I'm the only one who had NyQuil last night, to my knowledge. <laughs> a redding. Wait a minute. There's, we're not done. There's a dog. We're not done yet because I decided <laughs> Crap. the cat army may be awoken, but no dog will be left behind. So Basil, or Basil, the Cocker Spaniel from Fife, Scotland, or Fife? Fife. Fife. I'm going to Fife in June. You are? I can go visit Basil. How fun. Go I visit Basil. i rotate Basil. Basil's on his side. Oh, Basil, what are you doing on your side? I don't know. Hey, just, being, just being a cute little Cocker Spaniel. Maybe they wanted iPad today to be upright. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Or it might have been one of those iPhone photos that sometimes comes in. 
I ever, love cockers. Aren't they cute? They're, they're just cute. So look how silky cute. those ears look. I just look. want to brush them. Yeah, they're so yeah, pretty. Yeah, he's a good dog. That's a, a cocker or a Prince Edward Spaniel? Did they say? Uh, yes. Uh, Basel's owner, Phil Smith, says Cocker Spaniel. Cocker. So there you have it. Animal people. <laughs> what, what's next? Cockatiels? Squirrels? Oh, rodents? Good Lord. We'll take them. We'll take them all. We're going to slowly morph this into an animal show featuring iPads. Just kidding. <laughs> iPads and animals together at last. This show brought to you, as always, by our good friends at Hover, H-O-V-E-R dot com. If you are ready to, uh, you know, if you've got a kid on the way or you've got friends with a kid on the way, what a great gift. Register the child's name. Uh, at hover.com and give it to the parents and say, look, when he, when he or she comes of age, he or she will have a website. And it's very affordable and very easy to do. If you go to ipadtoday.hover, H-O-V-E-R dot com, you can uh, sign up right now. In fact, I, I think if you use the iPad Today offer code, you'll get uh, 10% off the registration fee. reason we like Hover for domain management is it's very easy, very clean. They don't upsell you. They only really they only sell two services: domain registration, and if you want email or uh, website forwarding, they will do that. And that's it. That's all there is. You ha you do have privacy controls, automatic. You know, these other guys they'll charge you for who is privacy, so nobody can look up your name and address. Ladies, if you're registering a domain name, mm -hmm. remember that the do domain name you register with your address. Your phone number, that's public record. So please, please. Or, or gents who happen to know crazy ladies. Yeah, anybody, really. If you want privacy, I do this, of course, mm -hmm. and Hover does it automatically at no extra charge. That's just one of many features of Hover. It's clean, it's easy, it's fast. They've got a great new hold, no hold policy for a customer service calls during business hours. You call, you're on, they will not put you on hold. They will handle your issue. 10% off your domains, go to iPadToday.hover, H O V E R dot com, and use the offer code iPad Today. And by the way, I wish I had done this, <laughs> and I regret it. I'm still in uh, domain transfer hell because I want. I'm moving everything over to Hover. Yeah. And these other guys that uh, who shall remain nameless, but you know who they are. They have locked my domains so that I can't transfer it. Why? <clears throat> well, why do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a great. Domain transfer service. They will transfer all your domains from five to five thousand for one low twenty-five dollar fee. And please, I wish I'd done it. Do yourself a favor if you're transferring everything over to Hover. Do that transfer uh, thing, and you'll get a, a transfer deal. By the way, and they will just charge you one flat fee, and they do all the work. They do all the interfacing. Love the Hover. iPad today. Hover. Com. They really aren't good. I'm, I'm really happy with them. So iPads in the wild. iPads in the wild, which we'll go through quickly uh, for in the interest of time. But we have two uh, opposite ends of the iPad in the wild spectrum today. The first sent in by Mayhawk. We have to Thank zoom in on this page. The, magazine page. the page of Vogue. It's upside down. It's but also you can... upside down. What in the world? No, it it's one matter. of these. It's Teen Vogue, in fact. It's one of these. Look at. Hey, this is what's in this season. What is that? Sunglasses, That's... bracelets, iPads. iPads. So Mayhawk said, well, this is something for Sarah and Leah. It's kind of yeah. weird. Where'd this come from? Hmm. Boots. High-heeled boots. Hooker boots. iPads. Are they saying that the iPad is the cool thing? Apparently the trend. so. Apparently so for the uh, the little tweeny vogers. So thanks for that. Um, and then next, Hayden sent in this link and said, "Hey, this is a really cool iPad spot in the wild for me." Go um, ahead, you can say this name. <laughs> I know this is it's a real tongue twister. In um, in Ukraine, there's a party leader, the uh, Bat Kiev. Oh, you're doing this so well. <laughs> I know party leader named Yulia Timoshenko. Can I try it? Yes. It's easier if you go like this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the Butkiv, uh, sorry, Butkiv, whoa. Butkiv, Butkiv Shnaya. The Butkiv Shnaya party leader, Yulia Temenchenko, is a high paid user. She is. Well, she's she not is. only an iPad user, but she's actually, um, she's kind of doing this neat thing where she's trying to get uh, the country to, um, uh, she, she wants the residents to write in ideas uh, to amend the Constitution. Oh. Yeah, so it's all this kind of like, it's like this digital um, initiative that she has to... I to, like her hair. I know, me too. I think it's great. I wonder if it's real. 
Because, you know, they do hair extensions. No. You no, think that true. she's got a braid, for those of you not watching, she's got a braid it's, it's a, it's around like, her head. It's like Heidi. And then her hair is like a helmet. Heidi. Like she got her hair so tight. I know. It's good stuff. I love I love everything about old Yulia. What Kiev Schneier? Not only because she sounds like a pretty forward-thinking gal. Sure, yeah, with a name got, like Yulia Tymanchenko. Who's got good ideas, but Who she's else? also um Ukraine in the third millennium. She's rocking the iPad with the Cyrillic. And what's not to like about that? That's very cool. Yeah, so that was a picture taken at a convention in Neat. Kiev. Nito. Yulia. You're awesome. Yulia. We love your hair. Uh, perhaps we will skip down. <laughs> well, the reason you're in a hurry. We run, well, well, we're, we're running a little we, long. We, we start a little, a little late. late. Yeah, and uh, we, we like to talk. Week, like, like, something, like it's something different. Something weird happened. Do want to mention um, Scott, who lives in Canada, said, "Hey, just wanted to to let you know." That Pandora isn't available in Canada, so you might want to just remember that sometimes when you talk about apps, we know, Pandora, we know. when we talked about our radio look, apps last week. Look, the show week. is done in the U.S. Uh, we are Americans, and I'm sorry if you uh, listen to another country. We love it that you listen to other countries, but you have to understand that we, we don't really know what's available in your particular neck of the woods. Right. We have listeners all over the world. Although I think, I think in this case... I did know that Pandora wasn't available in Canada, and it would have been a nice thing to mention. All right, not available in Canada. He wasn't familiar with Canada, so okay. Thank sorry. you, Scott. Sorry. We, we got to show. We got to show Connor because he was an iPad for Halloween. Connor, <laughs> I love isn't that. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's good. I don't know what it was made out of. It looks like some like duct tape around this. Yeah. I mean, it looks like Connor it's actually really cute. had a big piece of paper, or maybe four that he taped together, yeah. and made a bunch of apps. You can see the date up on the He's top and notes. And the iTunes. He's basically app link. begging somebody to poke him. I know it's really Isn't cute. Isn't that cute? Good I work, love Connor. that. Good, good job. I love that. I, yeah. I didn't want to leave that one out because he no, worked so hard. Certainly not. Yeah. And then um, our video. This is the Vimeo link. Uh, this is with Jackie from the Twin Cities area who had a really good question about um, iPads in the enterprise. Oh well, we must uh, we must run that. Hello, Jackie. Uh, hey, Jackie. Speak speak to me, and Jackie. Her video, video quality is amazing. Hi, Leo and Sarah. This is Jackie from the Twin Cities, and I have the million-dollar question. My division is looking into the iPad and wondering if we can use that exclusively and no longer use our laptops. Uh, we need it for architecture firm. email, Microsoft Office Suite, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and we're currently uh, getting more involved with Google and the, the documents, the calendar, the email. And just wondering if, if the iPad can replace our laptop. No. We have people at home office and then spend a fair amount of time out in the field working directly with You know what the problem is? And they've been using their laptops to deliver information and, and work that way. By the way, the video, I don't know what she's in a... She's, 7D. She shot asked. with a 7D. Oh, no yeah. wonder. I mean, look how good the lighting looks. Even. I know. Well, they know oh what they're my doing. God. They're, they're architecture folks. And it's HD. So. So yeah, here's where you're going to run into problems, and this is just the one, and, and this, I think it's going to be way, fixed. This is a really common question. You yeah. go, can we, can we wipe out our laptops? Can we just and go exclusively And she said, she said Google Docs, and that's where it's going to fall down, because you can't yet edit Google Docs from on the iPad. They say that's coming. That's up to Google to implement. Well, you sort of can. You can, order, you can, you can edit some things. Yeah, but not everything. Right. right. It's also, it's not, it's not a fun thing to do. She also, it sounds to me that they are interested in switching over to Google Docs, but really don't use it at all yet. And it's right. like, if you're heavy into Microsoft Office Suite, then switching over really to shouldn't. Google Docs exclusively right. is going to be a nightmare. Well, and there's Office 360. Microsoft has announced it's effectively, it's, it's on, you know, it's cloud-based Office. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work on the iPad either. Right. So I think if it's typing, if it's data entry, if it's, you know, documents, unfortunately, the iPad, it's to me, now correct me if I'm wrong, it's really more for me a, a consumption device than a creation device. Yeah, you could do some limited creation, but I, if that's hey, what I made a lot a flower. of flower. Yeah, well, that was pretty good. <laughs> no, that, that's true. That's pretty good. I think it's better uh, to get a laptop now. Actually, for drawing, I think the iPad's better. The touch interface is great. Yeah, something touch is better for gaming, drawing, music. But if uh, typing, it's not so good at. You know, until the new Airs came out, I would have said, "Hey, Jackie, uh, even though the iPad is limited." It really is so mobile, there's that word again, yeah. um, that, that maybe you could learn to live with Google Docs and just kind of figure out a solution because it's so great to walk around with something that's light and portable. But now an 11-inch uh, MacBook Air is probably the better idea. I bet you she recorded this question 
before the air came out because the air really is the one you want. Yeah. And you know, I well, I, I, use I use both. Sure. I use both, but if if it's documents. Uh, look at this that is, thing. Look how small it is. And it's, I know. It's well, a little heavier, got, a little bigger. You've got but. your keypad. I mean, if you're really doing work out in the field, not that you can't, you know, I, we, we... You know what? Get both. Yeah. Why not? It's just can, money. Right. You're going to take you it can, with you? You can just when print you die, more you're gonna, Yeah, print more. They're yeah, architects. It's, it's They're fine. made of money. It's fine. If you have a nice printer, it's fine. I, I think it's a great question. Uh, if your office or even Google Docs, it's not a good. It's not there choice. yet. Nope. It's just not there yet. Nope. Might be, but uh, you know, some folks will. They write us in and say, you know, why do you guys always say it's a consumption device? I do all sorts of things. So true. But as far as office, you know, it's Microsoft try printing. Office suite. Try printing. Remember we did that segment. Yeah. What a pain in the butt. Yeah. Now it's supposed to get better too. With Steve 4.2. says we will print. Yes. We shall but see. But it remains to be seen because it's not widely adopted see. yet. Yeah, our printing episode was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was the hardest thing to get working in the world. We want to hear from you. You should write to us. You should. It's at iPad Today at twit.tv. That's, that's our address. Uh, one of us, if not both of us, looks through pretty much every email. I'm sorry we can't one of get us back to it. <laughs> named Sarah Lane. Sometimes both of us. I don't even read your email. I know. Clearly. Hey, I'm such a bad, bad it's man. It's okay. No, you're not. I just need to bug you more. It's okay. You know. I, I can do that. One of these days, I'm going to give up drinking, and it'll all change. One of these days, I'm going to get over a cold and stop drinking NyQuil. (laughs) But not today. Not today. Uh, You can also leave us a voicemail. Thanks to all the voicemails. I'm sorry that we couldn't get to them today. We had one featured. Maybe we'll feature you next week. 757-504-IPAD. That spells iPad, also 4723. That's the numeric value of iPad. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's our Google Voice number. Or for extra points, like Jackie, send us a video, because we love to see your faces. It can be a question, a comment, an idea, anything. Just try to keep it 30 seconds or so or under. Picked a bad day to give up. If they go on and on, then, I mean, we're late enough as it is. It's, it's hard enough to stop talking ourselves. <laughs> Our app cap's coming up in just a bit. Before we do that, though, I want to tell you about Slingbox. Slingbox. You know about Slingbox. Everybody knows about Slingbox. Slingbox is the greatest, simply the greatest thing ever since sliced bread. Here's the deal. You go to a Best Buy. You buy the Slingbox. You bring it home. You hook it up to your TV system, your DVR, your satellite or cable box, your DVD if you want, and your Ethernet, your Internet. You, you hook up the sling box, so conceptualize to the TV system, all the, all the inputs, got all the inputs on the back, and the Internet. That's it. You're done. Now, when you go out on the road, you got your iPad, your iPhone, your iPod Touch on the Wi-Fi, you got your BlackBerry, you got your, uh, your, your uh, Mac laptop or your Windows laptop, you can see everything that's on your tv system no additional charges cuz you already you know you you paid for your cable we, you know you want to watch this, the big game you want to watch the the tv show you dvr you want to control the dvr you could do that all via slingbox it is so freaking cool now somebody may say well what this is an ipad show where is the ipad slingbox app well i have it on good authority it's on its way but they have a very good iphone app and, it, you know, I think it's just a matter of time before we see that on the iPad. And, boy, that'll be a sweet deal. They also uh, they also got that Android coming along. So the Android app, app might be the best app of all of them. And I imagine on the Android tablets, too. So it is just a great solution. Here's what you do. You go to a Best Buy. You take a look at the Slingbox. Or you go to Slingbox.com and uh, find out more. In fact, I think I have a special URL for you. Let me make sure I'm giving you the right one. I always give the wrong ones out. Yeah, Slingbox.com slash twit. Slingbox.com slash twit. Whenever I run into, uh, you know, gadget guys, and I ask them, what's your favorite gadget? Even though Slingbox has been out for a few years, they always say Slingbox. It's just awesome, especially if you travel a lot. Slingbox.com slash twit. And now Sarah Lane, she's got her cap on. I do. It ain't no thinking cap. No. And you know what? What? I'm going rogue, and I'm changing my app cap on the fly because... Wait a minute. It's true. That's what I'm doing. Oh, man. What are you doing? The app cap that I was going to do, I've decided that Etch-A-Sketch makes more sense today. Everybody loves Etch-A-Sketch. Everybody loves Etch-A-Sketch. In fact, I was thinking about it because when we were talking about Connor, the the 11-year-old who was the iPad for Halloween, I thought, oh, you know, Etch-A-Sketch would have been kind of a funny one, too. I've seen those in the past. And then I forgot, you know what? I've got the Etch-A-Sketch app, which is only 99 cents, and it's perfect for our art episode. And... I mean, I love the Etch-a-Sketch, but what you can't do is, you know what I love about the Etch-a-Sketch is after you're done with the drawing, you shake it. Yeah. 
and it goes away. You can't do that on the iPad. So here's, so let me shake it. Oh, you can shake it. Yeah. Look at that. I know, That's that so funny. So here, but here's. Wait, the, wait a minute. What's that? Is that a, is that a jellyfish? Yeah, there's a little jellyfish that I imported. So here's so you can imp- oh, here's look. here's the etch a sketch. Oh no! You turn the knobs just like a real etch a sketch. Well, yeah. What else would you be doing? <laughs> oh, I love this. Isn't that cute? It's actually really hard, which is why etch a sketches used to bother me so much when I was a kid. Because I just I'm like, oh, I can't make anything good. But you know, there's always those like. That is so cool. Big show offs. <gasps> 99 cents. You know? It's just like a real Etch-A-Sketch. You have to, you're at the airport. The only thing that's not like a real Etch-A-Sketch, and this is nice Viking hat, by the way. Shh, <laughs> I look away it. for two they seconds. They haven't seen it yet. Sorry. My app cap. All right. The only thing that sucks about this is that, okay, yes, you can shake it. Yeah. And then it says, yeah, you want to clear the drawing? Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, I had imported the squid, so the it, squid's I, never I, I told it not to erase the squid, right. but normally everything would be erased. The problem is, is that on a real etch sketch as anyone who's used an etch sketch knows, yeah. you can shake it like a little bit and fade things oh, and then I never start drying over. Really? Yeah, I never, it's a that's technique. a nice technique. You can't do that on the iPad because oh, it's never either there or it doesn't. Oh. So that's a little, you know, it's it's a minor annoyance for, for those of us who, who just want to have a little fun. It's not really a big deal. Um, but if you're like one of those like show offy, I'm so good at your sketch people, then that might kind of bug you. Otherwise, good time waster and little more. <laughs> but again, it's just a dollar, and that's uh, it's just called Etch a Sketch. You can find it in the App Store. Good times and great oldies. Awesome. Yeah. Look, now, I made a state. <laughs> Everything I draw with an Etch a Sketch turns into a state. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what that is. It's like um, Oklahoma. Yeah. No. Yeah. I Something don't know. like that. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It's, it's one a, of them it's states. Squid, it's a squid state. Squid state. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my app cap, ladies and gentlemen, today is something be- that uh, I, we've had for some time, uh, but it's now open to the public. Hulu Plus. You, in the past, you've been able to download the Hulu Plus uh, application, but not do anything with it unless you were lucky enough to get in on the beta invite. Uh, it, now, negative ten dollars a month, and yeah. there are still ads, but you can sit. You can see the Hulu TV shows in here, and there are more shows on Hulu Plus. Uh, than there are on the regular Hulu. You can watch it on the iPad, and as we all know, this is a great way to watch shows, you know, whether it's Netflix. I think Hulu Plus is a natural uh, add-on to this. And I do hear, I am told, the rumor is that Hulu Plus will be cut in half and cost to $5 a month. At that, you know what, I think 10 bucks is too expensive. 5 bucks a month, I think it might be worth it. You can, of course, run Hulu on your... Uh, on your um, Oh, 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 let's turn it up. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. ABC. ABC. Oh, oh, oh. That's a great network. I'm not, now, we, you, now, it's all conditional on your bandwidth. It's buffering. Right. Buffering, and it's loading. We're Our Wi-Fi can be weird. Do you like here. Modern Family? I've never seen it. And it's a pretty good show. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. yeah. I want to get not, into it. It's I'm not just... great, but it's pretty good. So, yeah. But the problem is, I, you know, it's not great enough so that I'm going to sit down and watch it, and, or even DVR. But now, if I'm in an airport and i got half an hour to waste, I can watch it. Um, so I, I wanted to run this video so that you could see that there are still ads in here. You can see there's an ad for watching it. These these companies on uh, you know ABC, Fox, NBC are very nervous that you're going to start watching this instead of watching the TV. So mm-hmm. they they do a lot of things to make this you know a little less desirable. But I think Hulu Plus is an important application. I'm sorry it's taken so long to load. We get the idea. I get the idea. I'm going to go because I want to show you. Um, so there's all the TV shows. Um, there's a lot of the clips. Let's look at the most popular. Uh, Modern Family, very popular. Full episodes of Saturday Night Live. Full episodes of Family Guy. Full episodes of The Office and Glee. Like Family Guy. What's wrong with me? And here's something wrong with you. House. Yeah. Um, and by the way, they show both episodes and clips. So, you know, as as with Hulu, you know, a lot of times there's clips, but these are full episodes as well, which which I think is is pretty cool. Um, I have to say, you know, I I like Hulu, and they do have besides TV shows, they have uh, movies. Not the first-run movies you'd expect. Some some weird movies, a lot of documentaries, but some good stuff, too. Um, and how much is this per month? $10 a month. That's the uh, negative. Yeah. But it is finally open to the public, so you could sign up for Hulu Plus, and you can download it on your iPad, and you can finally watch If you're your a Hulu shows. fan, you know, a lot some of people, people are. love Hulu. A lot of people are. I think it's kind of like you're either using it or you're not using it, but but I don't know a lot of Hulu people who go, eh, don't like it that much. It's just okay. It's like you're either using it and you love it or you're not using yep. it. So for $10 a month. I missed the, uh, this is, oh, yeah, U.S. only, by the way. <laughs> sorry. Oh, Canada, sorry. Yeah. 
I think it is. No, um, actually, Hulu Plus is. See, this is why I don't. This now. is why I don't say because I never know. Yeah. No, so you just have to recent. supply it's your recent. own. Supply your own regional uh, limitations here. Uh, we we don't know. I missed the live Thirty Rock. Oh, it was so funny. Was it? See, so now I, I can watch it. I missed it live too. Yeah, I yes, watched it I can after watch the it. fact. Yeah. Oh, it's so. so funny. It's like Saturday Night Live, actually. Is it? It's that's what it feels like well, because yeah. it's like a live sure. sketch, and yeah. of course, you and know, you know, you know they did, it looks like they did it both live for the East Coast and the West Coast because this is the West Coast live. Oh, what? Yeah. I don't oh, know which one well, I watched. What? I watched it through Netflix. No. Yeah. No, actually, I watched it through Comcast on Demand. Yeah. See, I could, there's so many choices. My goodness. So many choices. But can you, yeah, now, Comcast, and this is interesting, and unfortunately it doesn't work on the iPad. I'll be very curious. Comcast is now offering web-based Xfinity on your browser on your desktop, so you can watch a lot of shows, either oh. the fan or some sort of Xfinity uh, feature on your desktops, but it's Flash. Be very interesting if they would offer an iPad. Yeah, app. I have I Xfinity, like that. but yep. Um, yep. that's not going to help me out. So our picks again: Etch a Sketch from Sarah Lane, ninety nine <laughs> 99 cents. cents. Hulu Plus free to download, but ten bucks a month if you want to watch anything on it. And it is now open to the public. My hat not for sale. Caps tip to you guys. That hat's for sale. You can get the Fez at fezorama dot com. Yeah, with the uh, hyphens in between Fez yep. and O and O and Rama. Yep. Uh, Leo, I'm surprised uh, Tom hasn't come in wielding his knife yet. It's uh, a we're little later late. than possibly we've ever been. He fears the horns. He fears the Viking, as he should. As he should. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on iPad Today. Oh.